Uh, Nicole Arbor. Not much to say about that stone cold bitch. Ugh, that Dear Fat People video. That's just the tip of the fucking iceberg. So, here we go. Fuck you, Nicole Arbor. Just getting that out of the way. Fuck you. I'm sorry, I'm trying to show a lot of restraint here. But, yeah. The Dear Fat People video is, well, why she's controversial. I mean, I get that she's trying to say it's not healthy to be fat. I think anyone who's fat fucking knows that. I think anyone who's fat who doesn't want to be fat looks at themselves in the mirror every day and wonders, why am I fat? I wish I wasn't fat. And sometimes it's beyond their control. Sometimes. Sometimes they're trying to lose weight, and as they're losing weight, they're still called all this. But, yeah, this is just a quick video saying, fuck Nicole Arbor. Okay, so, we're past what I think is the part everyone's, yeah, that's the part everyone's mad at, mad at, on, uh, mad at on the internet. Everyone, at, like, some people are perfectly okay with the video. I'm actually probably not as mad as most people, but I mean... She's saying it like fat people don't know. Like they don't know. But also, I really wanted to talk about her relationship with Matt Santo with Matthew Santoro. Personally, I'm a fan of Matthew Santoro. I like his videos. And I mean, of course, when I first heard about the dear fat people thing, I'm like I've heard that name somewhere. I couldn't quite put a name. I couldn't quite put a face to it. I couldn't quite think of where I heard the name before or where I saw her face before. But then I remembered Matthew Santoro after watching a Mr. Repsion video where he talked about Nicole Arbor. But I mean. She seriously, she was fucking manipulative. She did not need to be, she is heartless, stone cold, plain as that. But what she did to Matthew Santoro, the story I heard just today, about how she was very manipulative to him, threatening, and one day he was, I heard, of course, I heard this from Rob Dyke in an interview, but apparently she smacked him across the face, and, oh, the feminist is talking about how a man got smacked in the face and how it's not right. Maybe because there's different kinds of feminists, and not all are the idiots who call themselves, who go against principles and are very ironic. But, I mean, she struck him and then told him that it was his fault. He was go he wanted to leave. She told him that he can't go. That he's not leaving. And yet, when he said, I'm leaving, get out of my way, she sh smacked him. This is abuse, and this is wrong. It 
does go both ways. It is gender neutral. And a lot of people like to forget that. But yeah, I'd just like to end the video by saying, fuck you, Nicole Arbor.